Hello and welcome, thank you for tuning in, this is NZ Radio Guy. I'd like to uh, show you today some radio equipment that I'd suggest you carry on board your boat. But before I begin, I'd like to say that uh, different countries and different regions have their own rules as to what type and how much radio equipment should be carried by a vessel. And these rules should be uh, strictly adhered to, and this video should be regarded only as a suggestion. I'd like to begin by uh, just uh, explaining the uh, two bands that are assigned to the marine radio system. There's the VHF marine band and there's the uh, MFHF single side band. Uh, the VHF marine band is used for ship to ship communication over a short uh, distance as well as ship to shore communication over uh, a small distance. Uh, whereas the uh, MFHF single side band is used for um, ship to ship and ship to shore um, communication over a longer range as well as uh, weather bulletins and so on. Um, I like to, uh, the radio I'd suggest that all boats would carry, large and small, uh, would be a uh, handheld VHF marine radio. Um, these radios are very portable and uh, are, um, are a good a good buy. But um, as a primary means of radio communication on board a boat, I'd only suggest uh, small boats up to the size of a small trailer sailor or up to the size of a a uh, small motorboat, uh, like a fizz boat, should carry them as their only means of radio communication on board. Um, the, uh, they've got an output power of uh, 5 watts and the uh, batteries can, um, yeah, their downfall is that they, uh, they only have a small battery on with them um, and that can uh, run down and if you haven't got a means of recharging the batteries or um, putting new batteries into it, you know, if you don't have uh, then you're um then you're stuck. Um, so uh, if you've got a larger boat and if you can power it, I suggest you get yourself a um a 25 watt uh, VHF marine radio transceiver like this one. Um, 25 watt and that's watts of RF output power. Um, and they're a good radio. Uh, they've got a uh, range of about um or line of sight uh, out to the horizon. Um. They are uh, used for in-harbour communication, and um, yes, uh, they are the number one uh, radio carried on board uh, small boats um, under the yeah small boats around um, around the coast. Um, the uh, for vessels uh, going overseas or going a long uh, a long distance trip away from uh, shore for all, uh, for any length of time. I'd suggest you uh, ca you invest in a MFHF single sideband marine radio, something similar to uh, this one here. This is a uh, this is actually a modified uh, amateur band transceiver, but um, uh, I suggest you uh, get yourself one of these. Um, the normal output power should, is around uh, let's see 150 watts, which under um, uh, gives you, depending on weather and the time of day you're transmitting, it can give you up to around 2,000 kilometer range. Um, so yeah, uh, these radios are carried on on all larger vessels and um, boats are going overseas. Anyway, um, along with all these radio equipment, I suggest you uh, you get yourself a copy of your, uh, your country's um, uh, radio handbook. Uh, marine Radio Handbook. Um, this is the uh, latest version here in uh, New Zealand. Um, they uh, they give you a lot of information concerning um, different channels to use, um, times of weather forecasts, um, weather bulletins, and so on, and a bit of the range on um, on your marine radio network uh, for your um, yeah. Maritime Radio Network here in New Zealand, uh, Zulu, Lima, Mike. Um, so yeah, I hope this video has been of help, um, and thank you for tuning in. Uh, any questions or comments, please leave them below. Um, I appreciate your uh, your interest. Thank you very much. Have a good day. 7-3. All the best.